Hi everyone and welcome to episode 2 of Isolation Bear News. Today I've got a world exclusive for you as I interview the new first team captain, Tom Elliott. Let us know your thoughts, feedback, anyone you want to see interviewed in the future and uh, hope you enjoy this episode. Right, Tees, episode two of Bear News. Thanks for joining us. Firstly, mate, huge congratulations on being given the captaincy. You must be absolutely made up. Yeah, mate, I was delighted, you know. Um, being made captain at your, you know, your boyhood club, the, the, the club, not, I'd love to say, I've only ever played for, but obviously I've been around, um, away in the middle. But, um, yeah, it was, you know, an absolute honour to get that. And um, delighted, mate, just a bit gutted that we can't actually um, kick-start and uh, get the season underway, I suppose. Yeah, mate, frustrating uh, frustrating times for all. How have you been uh, dealing with isolation? I've seen that you're, uh, you're back up north. Are you uh, helping Ruth out or just, uh, just treating the world to your amateur footballing skills on Instagram? Um, yeah, I'm helping um, cook these number one fan out in the garden a little bit, mate. But um, yeah, a bit of uh, bit of football in the garden. Obviously, we're very lucky to have a garden that we've got, so we can play a bit of football. Me and Will have been playing a little bit of golf. Been a you know a couple of runs, trying to stay fit, a few workouts, that kind of thing. Really, just. Um, yeah, trying to keep busy, mate, really. Yeah, oh, good. Now, we all know you're quite active on uh, social media, Tom, and this lockdown will be affecting two applications uh, in particular. How are you uh, getting on without Ladbrokes and Bumble? Um... Mate, Labrooks has been a struggle. I mean, um, you know, it's uh, it's tough. You, you got to go across the pond to get a bit of um, horse racing over in America, mate. Gulfstream Park. Yeah, I had a bit of that. Uh, Gulfstream Dogs the other day. It. Yeah, Keith still know it. Halls are probably now, Halls is probably on the Belarusian football to be fair. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, um, and and Bumble, mate. Bumble's just yeah, it's no going, mate. It's no going. Not much happening in workshop, mate. No, mate. No, no video. No video uh, dating from my side of things. <laughs> Good stuff. Right, let's crack on to uh, to a bit of cricket chat. Um, so I did this with uh, with Bozzy last time round. I've got a couple of stats for you here, Tees. Um, so two hundred sixty eight games, uh, five thousand seven hundred forty three runs, three hundred thirty seven fifties at a tick over twenty eight. Now I've not just brought those up to uh, highlight your shocking conversion rate, but. Um, there's been a bit of chat over the past couple of weeks about people's uh, top um, Cockney 11s. You featuring quite a lot of them, and everyone who kind of featured you said, you know, T is man for a crisis, always does a job for the team. Do you think those stats there are probably representative of, of that role that you forged for yourself in the uh, in the side? Um, yeah, I mean, look, it's, it's, over a, it's over a long time, isn't it, I suppose? Back when I was, I think, the first game was about 13, 14, so it was over a long t- period of time. Used to bat eleven, now kind of bat a four. Used to bowl a lot, now don't bowl. So I've gone yeah. the other way, mate. I used to bat a four, now I'm at eleven. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is done full circle now. So, um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, look, I'd love it to be above thirty, um, as I think most amateur cricketers would like to say. But look, I'm, yeah, I'm more than happy to kind of give my wicket away if it means that the team will, you know, um, push on. Um, but yeah, look, would love it to be a bit, little bit, fractionally higher, should we say? But um, if I'd have hit you for a couple more sixes, Joff, you know, when you're back at the back, it might have um, might have pushed me over the 30 barrier. Yeah, you never know, mate. Them, uh, them big boundaries down at uh, the new Fretwell Centre uh, helped me for a couple of seasons there. Um, right, so let's talk specifically about the captaincy. So, obviously, you are based down in London. That's uh, that's where you live uh, Monday to Friday. It's posed you certain challenges as a player. Um, how do you think that um, kind of working with you now as, uh, as captain? Yeah, look, it's... Um... It's not going to be straightforward as you'd like it to be. I won't be at training and, and things like that. But um, but I, I trust the lads enough to you know work on their parts of their game that they feel like they might need some fine tuning at the end of the day. Um, obviously, in terms of picking a team and, and seeing who's at training and seeing who's you know putting it, putting themselves through their paces and things like that, I won't I won't obviously be able to see that visibly week in week out. But um, I'll see it on a Saturday. I'll see it on a Sunday. I'll always have a net when I come back on a Friday night um, or on a Thursday night, as well as obviously being down in London, I'll have a net, I'll have a net as well myself. So I'm training and I trust the lads. Um, and then obviously it'll be performance based on who gets selected on a Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I've done it myself uh, a couple of times in the, in the past. I know it can be quite a, a full-on job. It's almost a, a full-time job during the summer in particular. How actively involved have you been in the winter in terms of keeping in touch with stuff, recruitment, etc.? Yeah, I've been in touch with it. Um, obviously, it's been um, driven by uh, Boz, me, and, and Will. But um, we've just looked. We, we, we obviously tried to get a few signs here, there, and everywhere. We've got, um, or we would have had, or will have, depending on what happens. Obviously, our overseas um, side from that. There's not been loads of recruitment on on our side. We feel like we've got a good enough team, a good enough squad, a good enough first two, three teams, really. If you know what I mean, we we can happily pick somebody up from the lower team, and then obviously 
more than happily back them to do a job for us um, and likewise the threes to the two. So um, we didn't feel like we needed new, loads of new blood, um, so we're happy where we are. Yeah, sounds good, mate. Um, and kind of, what type of captain do you see yourself being? Um, apart from Monday umpires. <laughs> well, um, yeah, hey, it's a family show, Thomas. Let's just cut down on the language, eh? Sorry. Um, uh, look, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm a heart on my sleeve kind of guy, as um, I think most people know. Um, I'm just going to look to try and bring the guys together, just, you know, that, that extra 10% where we've maybe been missing in games, making sure we're not switching off, you know, going the whole 50 overs. Mars were always used to say, look, you've just got 22 and a half overs or, or 25 overs until you've got to see him with some drinks and some sweets. It's just making sure that we're on it, that concentration level, and just, you know, that extra couple of percent, five, ten, um, everyone looking after their own games. And um, at the end of the day, hopefully then that will um, see us over the line more, more often than not. Yeah, definitely. I, for one, can't wait to see you sucking up to umpires as opposed to uh, chewing their ear off. That's going to be uh, that's going to be a sight. Um, and you kind of mentioned it a little bit, but what kind of pre-season had you managed to have pre-lockdown? Were you uh, were you getting a net down in London? We had a, yeah, had a few nets at the Oval. Um, I, I've got a few mates from university um, and, and from school actually, as well as um, former clubs and stuff that I can play with there. I also had the obviously beneficial. Um, I went to Argentina in January with the MCC for a couple of weeks, and obviously that Very was. Nice. Um, Kickstarted pre-season early. It was a, a, a wonderful tour, and obviously a good opportunity. It's a good cricket as well, and um, so yeah, that started off well. So I was, I was as prepared probably as I have been for the last I don't know ten or so years. So it's a bit good not to actually start. Yeah, right. Um, we'll move on to some uh, some current bear news. So uh, again, I did this with Bozzy last week. It is a new show, so we've uh, got a couple of massive bits of news coming out of the uh, the bear pit over the last kind of week, ten days. So. Firstly, we had a we had a new addition, so uh, you know, mine and yours, good friend uh, O.W. the uh, the moose has uh, has had a baby. Yeah, you're going to say anything about moose's new baby, Tom? Oh, it just it just paused there for like <laughs> at um, time. Um, yeah, obviously Betty came into the world. Um, I think around about 48 hours ago now, depending on when obviously this goes out. Um, obviously, moose he's a long term friend for. Uh, over nearly 25 years now, I went to school with him, grew up with him at Cookney. Obviously, pretty much talked to him basically every day. Um, so, yeah, absolutely delighted. Um, I know he's absolutely over the moon. There'll be a big emotional mess with, um, with, the, with the Moose man. But, um, yeah, obviously, I think Gemma and um, Betty are doing well. So, look, all the best for Moose in the future with um, with his little girl, to be honest. We're absolutely yeah, definitely. sure. Just definitely. Amazing team news. Team so, uh, big uh, big congratulations to uh, to Moose and Gemma. Uh, and the other one is uh, slightly older bear news now. But last week, Denzel uh, announced that he got engaged to uh, to Penny. Again, he's one of your London contingent. How do we how do we feel that we've lost another great man? He's gone early doors there, hasn't he, Joff? I mean, you look at yourself and Halls. He's gone really early doors there. <laughs> um, He's locked up the cricket kit and he's he's gone for it in lockdown as well. You know, when most people are tearing each other's heads off, he's gone for it. So, um, no, congratulations to Denz and Penny. Um, hopefully we'll see him in, in, in a bear shirt before, you know, his, his, complete, his career is completed. But, um, yeah, all the best to him. I don't know when he'll obviously... Um, get hitched, but we're looking forward to that stag do job, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. A return to Marbella would be, uh, be ideal. So, you're a gambling man yourself, T, so if you're going to have a bit of a punt on uh, the next bear to either have a baby or, or get engaged, where would you go? Well, I think I just, I think I just mentioned the two, mate. I, I mean, Halls, I, I'll, I'll be fair to you here, Halls has got to go for it. I mean, he's getting old. He's getting the nickname Jimmer Frame. Um, <laughs> well, Sarah's got to be absolutely begging for it, hasn't she? Too, I would have thought so. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I'm going to go with it's got to be Halls. What, a, a double, Mar marriage and a kid. <laughs> it's going to be a busy, uh, busy lockdown period for uh, for JS, yeah. that is for sure. Uh, right, well, uh, we'll move on to uh, to something a bit lighthearted. So uh, again, I did this with uh, with Boz. This is the uh, the quick fire round. Um, so here we go. Tees, um, cheekies or late lounge? Cheekies, cheekies. T K or N K? I prefer the old man, to be honest, Steve. Yeah, mo most people do. Um, ML or NL? NL. NL. Stay loyal to your old pal, Nick. I like it. Yeah. Um, who'd win in a fight? Will Ulliott or Aaron Riley? Aaron Riley. It'd be a good fight, though. I paid to see that. Um, Liverpool or Cutney to win the league? Well, Liverpool have already won it, so Cutney. No, nah, mate. Corona's putting pay to it, Tom, I told you. This season's null and void, mate. Null and void. Um, who is the last member of the club you would choose to be in isolation with and why? Um, I think this is almost an easy one for me. It'd be, it'd be Pete Jackson. 
Um, why? It doesn't need loads of description. <laughs> Not to say it is a family platform, but um, yeah, it'd be an absolute disaster to yeah, live with. Yeah, it'd be a car crash um, of an isolation uh, yeah, with, yeah, uh, with Jack I mean, Jackson, that is for sure. Time, but... uh, and finally, uh, Tom, what's your favourite shot? Um, a tequila, if it's not a sweep shot, mate. I love the sweep. Fine, fair enough. Uh, I like that you went with the, ban uh, the banter answer, Tom, there, and, uh, and chucked a tequila out. It shows a lot about you as a man, that, Tom. Yeah. Um, right, OK, we'll, uh, we'll just round off with a couple, uh, a couple more cricket questions. So, again, I asked this of, of uh, Bozzy uh, a couple of weeks ago, but what's your favourite moment in a Bears shirt, mate? Um, favourite moment, it'd have to be, it'd have to be Derby um, 09. Uh, I think Bozzy went for the same thing, just because, yeah, it's... Um, I think probably more at the prime of my career than I am now, but with all your mates that you've grown up with at Cutney, you know what I mean, we didn't have really anybody. No, I think there was no overseas unless you class Stroh and Butler as overseas back then. But um, technically, I think they might have been back then. But uh... yeah, I mean, I still think Butts is now. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I that, supporting South Africa all the time. Um, but yeah, that that would be a day. I mean, there's been plenty of days. I mean, first league title, winning numerous T20 titles at Trent Bridge and. Um, obviously, then when we got to Edgebaston as well, um, an achievement in itself. Um, and yeah, and last summer, I know it was not in a bear shirt, plenty of bears um, memorabilia out there, but Marbella for Bozzy Stagdy was an absolute cracker. Yeah, well, uh, what goes on tour stays on tour. We'll leave that one there, uh, Thomas, near bother. Um, finally, uh, kind of one question I want to I want to finish with, and you kind of alluded to it a little bit there that you've you've played a lot of cricket with a lot of friends for a long period uh, a long period of time. Um, how much of an influence do you think that, that Mozza had on that group of players? Kind of the likes of yourself, Butts, Langers, Deebs, who kind of been moulded by his coaching for, for a very, very long period of time and a very, very successful time. Kind of give us a flavour of the impact he's had on, on you yourself as, as the club and what his legacy will be. Yeah, it's, um, look, it's, it's been incredible, um, the, the dedication he's, he's put into Cookney. Um, I mean, his mornings, his evenings, you know, getting there three hours before start time on a Saturday morning, um, setting up the drills for us. Um, they're just the small things. Is obviously the coaching, the bringing the players on, the development. Um, you know, I, I've known him now since I was 18, so he's been at Cookney ever, pretty much ever since. Um, we have a hell of a lot to him as a club. I think. Um, I don't think I know. It, we wouldn't be where we are without him. The first team as strong as they are, the second team as strong as they are, the thirds coming up the divisions as well as the four, you know we start on the fourth team. That's all due to the fact that we've got you know good recruitment, developing players, um, and obviously managing to keep hold of them as well. Like you say, Moose. Bozzy, me, Deebs, Will, um, from when we were younger, and then obviously Langers has been there a long time. Yourself and Halls, I think even you know even even developing players who are experienced, that's a key to him. He can just he's, he can just you know he can improve anybody, and he um, he's one of the lads as well. It'll be an absolutely massive miss. Um, gutted that I come round as captain, and he's decided to call it a day. But look, at the end of the day, he's, he's in and around the coaching in the winter, um, or what we have had so far, what we managed to fit in, and. Um, yeah, he'll still be down there on match days and we'd love to see him. But, um, yeah, gutted. But at the same time, you know, without him, we wouldn't be where we were. We are now as a club. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'll definitely echo that. I've been working with him a couple of times at, at Welbeck and at, and at Cutney. Uh, he's going to be a, a massive, massive miss. But uh, I'm sure most of the lads will still lean on him for uh, for help and advice wherever needed. But, uh, but yeah, well uh, well said, mate. Um, right, that's it. Um, episode two in the can. Bear news, tease. Thanks for joining us, mate. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to pulling uh, pulling a shirt on with you at some point during this summer. But uh, but take it easy, and we'll uh, we'll catch up soon, mate. And you, Josh. Cheers, pal. Take care, mate. See you later.